operating room fires can be devastating for patients and staff. The operating room environment contains three requirements for fire, fuel, oxygen, and an ignition source. Surgical drapes, prep solutions, sponges, disposable plastic equipment can ignite in a high oxygen environment with devastating consequences. In the last two years, we've had two operating room fires. In the first, use of electrocautery in the chest cavity in a high oxygen environment caused ignition of a chest tube. In the second, use of electrocautery in the chest caused ignition of a dry sponge. It is difficult for staff to recognize when there is a high oxygen environment in some situations because oxygen may leak out of the ventilator circuit or lung. In a high oxygen environment, electrocautery can ignite normally safe materials with devastatingly rapid fires. We all remember Apollo 1, where a 100% oxygen environment allowed the ignition of Velcro in the presence of an electrical spark caused by a switch being thrown. In this brief safety film, we will show three situations, electrocautery in air, electrocautery in an enriched oxygen environment, and finally, electrocautery in a carbon dioxide enriched environment. Fire in air. Fire in oxygen. Fire in enriched carbon dioxide. We recommend that all cases have an accurate assessment of fire risk. It is a San Francisco VA Medical Center policy to complete the fire risk assessment sheet and follow the guidelines. Use of carbon dioxide flush during thoracic or cardiac cases may reduce fire risk. We would like to thank the technical support of the San Francisco VA Medical Center Biomedical Engineering Department and the San Francisco VA Medical Center Medical Media Service. No one was harmed in the production of this video. However, ignoring the points of this video may lead to harm.